I really thought we were gonna hit that car. <laughs> and I'm recording too. Oh, I'm gonna... Hey guys, on our way to my first ultrasound appointment to see how well my ovaries are responding to the stems that I'm on. Um, so we're both very nervous and very excited. We're also both just very warm right now. It's about negative 17 degrees outside. So it's a very chilly morning. Um, and we will keep you updated as to the status of what's going on. I'm gonna try and record some during the meeting. And also Ryan will be here to keep you company. So stay tuned. I was supposed to have Becca on video call, but the connection was too, too bad, too poor, so I only have her on speaker right now. And she is talking to the doctor right now, but she should be out in a minute. It's really nice weather here, actually. It's cold, snowy, but it's nice. Hopefully that's a good sign. Hey guys, we're back from my ultrasound appointment with some updates. I'm honestly not too excited about them. It's not great, it's not terrible, um, but I have four follicles right now. They don't expect more to grow. Um, so hopefully I'll get an egg from each of those follicles. They're scheduling my ultrasound for next Friday. So what I'll be doing is continuing to take the medicine I'm on until Tuesday night and then doing my trigger shot on Wednesday and then they said no meds at all Thursday which will be a nice reprieve and then Friday morning early in the morning I go in for the retrieval. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, I'm really hoping that I'll get at least four eggs but I know Sometimes some follicles don't release the eggs. I'm a little disappointed with this amount because there's such a generally steep drop off. Like once you see which ones have fertilized and then which ones have lasted to day three and then again which ones have lasted to day five. I'm really nervous that since I have such a low number to start with, I won't have any on day five, which is the day that they want to do the transfer. But trying to stay optimistic and see how that goes. Um, so far, the four follicles I have, um, two on each ovary, which is really interesting because originally during like my pre-scan before uh, the IVF stems started, I had four on one ovary and one small one on the other ovary. So I was hoping to at least get five um, but we have what we have to work with, so we'll try and remain optimistic about that. Currently, it is day seven, and the follicles that I have are two measuring 13 millimeters and two measuring 10 millimeters. So um, I'm hopeful, and the doctor seems hopeful that they'll grow to the right size before then. Um, and a couple things like I'm just disappointed about is I'm not having any other ultrasound checks before the retrieval, which just, I'm naturally anxious, so makes me a little nervous. I'd like to just have the peace of mind of knowing that they're growing as fast as they should be, but they're just gonna go in and retrieve them. And I also just felt like the this doctor was a new doctor I haven't seen before, and I just felt like she was really quick with everything and didn't really spend a lot of time kind of poking around to try and find follicles. She just quickly found the two most visible ones on each ovary. So part of me is hoping like maybe there's been some hiding back there that she missed, but I also don't want to get my hopes up unnecessarily just to be let down. So I'm not even trying to think down that path right now. I just would have felt better if she kind of s spent a little bit more time examining me, I think. And I didn't remember to ask about my cysts. I know I had a cyst on each ovary before that they were worried that they might have to puncture. And I wish I asked about that now because now my anxious mind is like, what if one was a cyst and they're considering it a follicle? But I'm sure she knows the difference and I'm just over analyzing and questioning things. So that's the status for now. I'll keep you updated. So far on the injections, I don't really feel a huge amount of symptoms. 
I'm pretty on and off just like feeling exhausted during the day. Uh, that could also be because I've made a huge effort to cut out a lot of my caffeine intake. Uh, I generally drink a lot of coffee, so I've switched completely to decaf coffee and now my only caffeine intake is through some like sugar-free sodas that I drink around mealtime. So that could be why I'm feeling a little bit more tired than normal. Other than that, I'm feeling pretty normal. My ovaries are sore on and off. Sometimes they'll be perfectly fine and other times it'll kind of hurt to walk around because they just feel really sensitive. That's pretty normal for me um, around ovulation. So I expected my ovaries to be a little sore during this process and the doctor did confirm that that was a normal side effect of the shot as well. So I'm not concerned about that, just something I am experiencing. Uh, and then sometimes I have very slight nausea, but it tends to go away once I eat something. So just trying to stay kind of on top of eating. I don't really have a huge appetite on this. Uh, it's, it's interesting, it's just really decreased. So it's easier for me to just forget about eating and then start to feel nauseous. So just trying to eat small meals and make sure that I stay on top of that. But other than that, um, that's the status for th this time. Um, I'm not sure how many more updates there'll be until the actual egg retrieval, but I'll probably just do a couple on how I'm feeling. Um, maybe do one about the trigger shot because that'll be a really exciting one. It means like it's the end of all the stems for this cycle and I'm really excited to stop doing shots. Um, and then I'm also gonna do one maybe just explaining why I'm really nervous about the egg retrieval process and we'll go from there. So remember to hit like and subscribe. If you have any experience with having about four follicles and your IVF treatments, leave a comment, let me know, something I'm really concerned about. Um, so thank you and for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.